So hue. What is hue? Hue again is a color wheel. It's kind of like a compass. It's which direction we're looking on that color wheel. So if we had a hue and let's say we're looking, uh, well, to red, it's a direction kind of like the compass is pointing. So representative of the compass is the color wheel. So when we think of hue, we think of which direction we're facing or which direction we're pointing to on this color wheel. Now, when I like the work, I like the work in a lot of analogous color means. And this is by pointing the one color in the color wheel and the colors to the side. So let's go look at this. So by limiting the colors that we choose uh, to be a lot smaller, and uh, here we go, just a little smaller, we could go to different directions on this color wheel and have nice little color schemes uh, with limited range. These are called analogous colors. So hue has no sense of value. In this case, hue is just the color wheel. But if I was to change the background, let's say, and uh, let's just make it go a little darker. Well, you know, the yellow is not as bright, but it's still yellow. So hue has no value. It could be really dark be really light. It's red is always red in the form of a hue. So much like value is relative, well, guess what? Hues are relative too. So let's go sit back and look at this with a critical eye. And I'm going to start off, I'm going to throw the outside color into the middle each time progressively as I move towards another color. And we're going to watch what our brains see and perceive in our eyes, and uh, this will make a little sense hopefully in the end. So here we have what appears to be a green square in the center, and on the outside it's kind of diminished, it's kind of grayed, it's a grayed out uh, green, subtle red hint. Okay, I'm going to get that color, and I'm going to throw it into the middle again. Now I have a green square in the center, and I have this kind of reddish green or greenish red on the outside. So green square center, reddish green on the outside. And I get this color, throw it into the middle. Now, what we once thought was reddish green, we now consider to be a green square. Again, remember, this is all relative. The outside is kind of orangish or reddish green. So I'm going to throw that color into the middle. Now, what we thought was orangish or reddish green actually has remnants of being kind of green. And it's kind of reddish, uh, muted reddish around the outside. Let's go continue. Throw that into the center. And now we have red. And we have what appears to be, well, it's still kind of reddish, but it has a little green tint to it in the middle. So what that's saying is, is well, hue is always relative to what it's next to, and uh, they could push themselves apart.